Hello and welcome to a very special FinTech Wales Meets, where I'm with Neil Cocker, Foundry Programme Director, where we're going to discuss what to expect from Season 3 and who should be applying. So Neil, great for you to join me today. Um, first of all, tell me a little bit about yourself and your journey in mentoring startups up to date. Well, first and foremost, I'm a startup founder. That's my experience uh, as an entrepreneur. Uh, you know, I've been doing that for a very long time. I've got a, you know, uh, like all lifetime entrepreneurs, you know, a series of successes, but also failures. And obviously the failures are the ones where I've learned the most. Um, and that's naturally led me to mentoring. Uh, and I've spent a lot of time, particularly over the last couple of years, working with mentoring, advising, coaching, uh, startup founders, and helping them just understand uh, their businesses, their customers, and how they can grow more efficiently and effectively. What can uh, startups who apply for this program and are successful, what can they expect from season three? What they can expect is, you know, world-class mentoring and support. They obviously, all the kind of freebies that you would expect in terms of all the, the sort of discounts and freebies you get from the normal, the normal accelerator programs. But what we think we can bring above and beyond that is we don't take equity. Uh, you still get access to world-class mentors. Um, you get if you're coming from outside of Cardiff, you get an incredible insight and access to this city. Uh, historically, we've had startups who've come from other parts of the world to join the programme and have decided to relocate here. They loved it so much and they really, really enjoyed the fact that they could access really, really high level people really, really easily. And perhaps you, in a way, perhaps you wouldn't be able to do in somewhere like London where there's so much more competition uh, and just a great quality of life and low, low cost of living. Okay, so next let's talk about who should be applying for season three of the FinTech Wales Foundry. Right, so um, first and foremost, we're looking for ambitious entrepreneurs who are early stage. Um, they, uh, as a startup, they're probably still trying to work out precisely what their model is, what their product is, what their go-to-market strategy is. Um, they almost certainly won't have raised any cash yet. Yeah. Maybe they've got a you know, maybe they've got a small loan or, you know, they, they've borrowed some money to, to help them get through those early stages, but they probably won't have raised a, a seed round. Um, so they're still learning about what the problem is and what the product should be that is dictated by that problem. So a lot of the value that we can find is really helping them understand what the problem is. Uh, and what the solution should be that that, uh, that solves that problem. In previous cohorts, there was a big in-person portion uh, to the program. Is that going to be similar in season three? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We've uh, we've slightly tweaked the format, but yeah, it, it is an in-person program, uh, and so we will be run here from Cardiff. Um, we provide enough, or we provide so much value that we've actually had people fly in on a regular basis from Portugal and Poland on the previous yeah. cohort. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, I think that's good evidence of the fact that, you know, they wouldn't keep coming week after week. Right. Yeah. Uh, it, to, to, to Cardiff. Uh, if, they, you know, so we, we want founders who are going to commit to that. So we'll be running a couple of days a week, every fortnight for eight weeks. So, um, yeah, so you have to commit to being in Cardiff for a couple of days a week, every fortnight uh, for eight weeks. And uh, the value of that um, is huge. So next, what are the key dates that applicants need to know about the programme this year? We're going to open the application process um, the last week of July. Um, and then that will close four weeks later, uh, middle of August. We will inform a shortlist as soon as we can, like the very next week. If yeah. you make the shortlist, you'll be informed the very next week. Um, so that you can start to prepare for the possibility, you know, that you yeah. might, might, might want to have to, you know, organise some um, time in Cardiff. Um, then we will spend a week or two sifting through those startups. And in the week of the 5th of September, we will be interviewing. Um, and then a couple of weeks later... The program starts, so you know, sort of uh, late late uh, September. The the startups will be every fortnight spending two to three days in Cardiff. So, what is the application process for startups looking to apply? Okay, so uh, first and foremost, go to foundry.fintechwales.org. 
we are designing the application process to be as simple and quick as possible. What we're actually asking the startups is to actually upload a very short video of themselves. Um, so almost all of, this, all of the application process will be basically drop downs. We don't want people to have to spend hours and hours and hours on this. Uh, and then just record yourself for a couple of minutes talking about your startup. We'll give you guidance on the questions we need you to answer. Um, and yet the whole application process should really take no more than 20, 30 minutes. Um, because again, you know, startup founders, we want them to be focusing on building their business. We don't want them to feel they have to spend three, four, five hours on a lengthy application form with thousands of words, right? So let's make it simple for them. We'll then get back to you as soon as possible with a shortlist and we'll follow up after that. Thank you, Neil, for spending time with me today and letting us know about season three of the FinTech Foundry Accelerator Programme. Brilliant. Really excited. Thank you, Ryan.